1943, and it was two days before I was 18. At that time, you could just you could join as long as you was near 18. I happened to be two days short. <laughs> I joined out here in Port Orchard, served a while in the aircraft carrier USS St. Lowe. It was a commission to Midway, but then sailor superstition had changed the name. And once it, uh, we got commissioned, and then we served on it for uh, oh, about a year or so. so that's, that's when they sent us into the South Pacific. When, when I, was, I had the, the control, I was the con on the gun, and I had one ear covered and one ear uncovered, so you could hear the, talk to the crew, and they could hear you, and I could hear them. But then uh, we had this hang fire on a 40 millimeter, and uh, it took a long time for it to go off, and you kind of relaxed, and I happened to be <laughs> standing under the muzzle when it went off. <laughs> so I still have this ring. In. Kamikaze actually sunk the ship I was on October 25th, 1944. And uh, then I got reassigned to the Sumner, the destroyer, later. Everything happened so fast, and you were the general quarter station, and you'd, we didn't know until later really what happened. When the general quarters, it was, they sounded right away, so that's, we didn't know at that time what, it, what was going on. So then we all went to our general quarter station, the kind of automatic, and then, uh, then we found out later that he had, uh, that it had been a kamikaze. It's uh, Japanese, of course, and come up on the, on the flight deck, and, and uh, this plane was sticking in the in the flight deck ship, and. We knew something drastic had happened, but you just do, you do things automatically. Like one of the things we did was close back on the ship so it wouldn't fall on the on the forecastle, right on the bow, and we pulled it back up on the ship. And because uh, there was people all all down on the forecastle of the ship, so got a got it out of the way. That's when I went over this, went over the side. It was your turn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then we got, uh, see, I think when the, the water, I think it was a couple hours. Yeah, you, you could feel a concussion. That, that's an explosion under the water, just, you, you feel it. And they call it a concussion. And you could feel that as the ship went down. It went down by the stern. A friend of mine on another ship, then he said, St. Lowe went down in eight minutes. <laughs> and then we got picked up by the USS Dennis, the DE-405. Uh, actually picked us up and went on board it. We didn't, <laughs> we didn't discuss much because we was all involved in, in our duties, you know, so we didn't, didn't talk much about it until probably later. Well, it was, Guys just joking around, you know. Even at that time, I was, and all of a sudden, he started yelling, turned to him, toward, toward the ship, and hey, where are you, where are you going? Where are you going? I forgot to unplug the coffee pot. <laughs> it was just nonsense, but it was, kind of broke this the silence. Of, but it, it was kind of frightening, to say the least. Lieutenant Seeky. Lieutenant Seeky. Did, did you have a label plate or something like that from the from the engine um, from the Japanese? Yeah, plane? yeah, uh, yeah. That that's it there. Mm -hmm. uh, then we got back to Pearl Harbor, and of course, then you got your thirty-day annual survivor's leave. Oh, they let you take leave after that? Oh yeah, 30, <laughs> 30 days. That was kind of standard for the sinking. Then I had to report back, and then they assigned me to another, another ship, which happened to be the destroyer, the Sumner. Yeah, we, we was on our guard all the time because we didn't know what, you know, we were right in the war zone, so we was on our guard continuously. You know? At the end of the war, all the, the free world sent a ship to Tokyo Bay, and, and uh, 
So there was a ship from every free nation. We met there in Tokyo Bay and, and that was, Missouri was there and that was, that was the end of the war. The memories of the guys I served with, I think. It was fun and yet, um, it was pleasant memories along with, with sad ones as well because so many of them, were, the 121 were, were killed, you know, and that, that's not easy to recall. I knew, I knew some of them, but I didn't know them all, but again, it, we served together and they were, they were just, what can I say, they were great guys, they were shipmates, you know, that, that, you know looking, looking back, you just have pleasant memories about, about that situation.